Oh my gosh, right. I've just come really quickly out to the car because basically there's people sleeping indoors. I don't want to wake anyone up, but I have just finished watching, as have pretty much every single other football fan on the planet, um, the Champions League final, Liverpool 2, Tottenham nil was the final score. Let's be honest though, it was a pretty dreadful game actually. It wasn't a very exciting um, sort of advert for an all English um, football, uh, sorry, Champions League final. Uh, by the way, I'm using literally like a car light, literally just one light there. So apologies if this the quality of this video is not great. But mate, I'm just basically wanting to pick the camera up right now and record this video because that marks the end for me of a really brilliant season personally um, with the stakes that I have as a fan in football. Obviously, Cholton, the way that we won promotion to the championship back in the league that we should be fighting in, in the top end of actually, um, and now obviously my sort of second team, Liverpool, um, finally uh, delivering a trophy under Jurgen Klopp and the best and most prestigious trophy of all time. Of course, all Liverpool fans want the league title, but yeah, what a brilliant way to end the season. Um, I've seen my team lift the playoff um, you know, trophy at Wembley and, and had that whole day out. And that was probably the best day of my life in terms of, uh, you know, like a football day out. And then I've just sat and watched Liverpool do that. And Jordan Henderson, Jurgen Klopp, um, you know, players like Lalana, players that I've just followed and loved and, and loved seeing uh, play week in, week out in the, in the Premier League. I've just seen them lift that trophy after such hard work. Yeah, just, just I feel like it's just the end of a little chapter. Uh, but also the beginning of more, hopefully, better chapters for both Liverpool and Charlton. But yeah, in terms of the Champions League final that we just watched, um, like I said, not a great advert for English football, it has to be said. Um, it's definitely the best league in the world, the Premier League, right now. Uh, will Tottenham be able to keep the likes of Ericsson now? Kane, probably, I reckon he'll stay another season, just like at, at the new stadium and that. Um, I think Ericsson might leave. Deli Alley probably will stay. Son probably will stay one more season. But if he plays that well again and doesn't win a trophy, you can imagine him popping off to like, I don't know, like another team like a bit that um, have a bit more of a chance to win a trophy. Um, yeah, it's a shame for Tottenham because if there's any team that I would have wanted to lose Liverpool to lose to, it would have been Tottenham um, or, or you know Man City as well because they obviously are just a fantastic like brilliant team probably the best football team that's ever graced the planet um so yeah it, it was just it was just a great sort of emotional watch for me because Liverpool uh lost out just so cruelly on the on the on the league front uh, Man City just like sort of you know beating them by one point and, and going really toe-to-toe -to -toe for the last like what, what was it like 10 games or whatever uh and, and managed to nick it by a point but yeah it was really nice to see that um, and, and, and basically guys, I'm just, I'm just satisfied as a football fan this season. Anyway, um, I'll stop waffling about the, uh, about the, do I just hear something? Basically, I'm just sitting in a car. There's actually been a lot of car robberies and things, uh, lately down this road and it's quite late. It's literally quarter to midnight. So my, uh, my tail's up a bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, guys, next week you can expect some videos. Um, I'm going to address my first Patreon. I'm going to address... Um, the winner of the Fantasy League. I'm going to address the sort of entire season and start looking towards next season in the Championship for Charlton. Um, obviously, as well, we have got the England final, or sorry, semi-final, I think it is first, against the Netherlands of the uh, Nations League. And hopefully I will be uh, either live streaming or making a video reaction to that. So plenty of content upcoming. I'm very, very excited for uh, next season. Hopefully there'll be all sorts of new content and stuff coming out. And don't forget as well, the Charlton career mode will be carrying on through the off-season because that still isn't really anywhere near finished. we still got a fair few episodes to tuck into there. So yeah, I hope you guys are all going to stay on board and keep watching the, the videos next season and stuff like that. Um, yeah, any questions, any requests, any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. But other than that, guys, this is me signing off really um, at the end of a really brilliant season for both Charlton, for Liverpool, and obviously for me personally as well um, as a fan and, and sort of in my newfound career in sort of football media as well. Yeah, nice. All right, guys, I'm going to stop waffling now. Uh, I'll let you go. I'll see you for more Charlton career mode, all the videos I mentioned next week, and uh, yeah, the England um, semi-final in a few days' time. Catch you later, guys. Cheers for watching. And sweet.